Hello, I'm Sarah from ST Microelectronics and I'm here on our booth at Embedded World 2025 with Matthias. Great to see you, Matthias. Good to see you. Uh, you were just telling me about a new win-win approach that you guys are taking to VS Code integration in STM32. Yes. Tell me more. Okay, so we are bringing a major update, Q2 this year, yep. uh, which is bringing updatability and uh, a few other features. It's a complete architecture redesign. So we are splitting the tools into three parts, the GUI, the command line tools, and the STM32 awareness itself. So the win for ST is that it helps us to develop and maintain this tool in a much faster way. Uh, way than we are able to do with uh, current our way. the current tools. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And the win for SDM32 developers is that they can share pick features they want. Right. They don't need to have a full ID experience mm -hmm. in that sense, and they can update only the aspects that they need. So it gives them better flexibility. And probably time saving as well, I guess. Right. Indeed, indeed. We hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the ambition. Yeah. Okay, so you were telling me about some pretty cool features that we're we're bringing in, let's say, uh, yeah. at the moment. Do you want to dive in and have a we'll have a look? Sure. The 2025 is going to be a lot about taking existing Cube IDE features and plugging in them into the VS Code base too. So yeah. one example is the build analyzer. Here I'm showing you uh, a new take on the build analyzer, which I think many people really appreciated in Cube IDE. Yeah, so okay. it allows you to have a look at the build result. Um, your map file is analyzed, showing you the memory consumption at a high level and at the detail level, how the objects are laid out in the memory and the size and so on. Okay. That's that's one useful uh, thing. And what ties neatly into this is that what's really new is we are also bringing c -line LLVM as an additional compiler. Uh, in the old tools, we only have GCC. GCC, right, yeah, okay. Yeah, so this new tool, uh, compiler will bring us better memory footprint and or better execution speed, depending on what you're looking for, yeah. Yeah, whatever people want to optimize for, let's say. Exactly, and okay. here's a tool that can help you assess uh, the um, benchmark, the improvement, let's say. Okay, 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 great. What else do we have? Well, if we look on debug side, let me launch up the debugger. Oh, yes, debugger. Yeah. It was very important for embedded development. Indeed, indeed. First thing people ask for is of course. debug features. <laughs> yes. Yep. So, as previously said, we are now taking bricks from Cube ID and trying to plug them in here. Sure. Uh, uh, very first candidate for this that we are bringing is the Artos debug support. Right, okay. So here you have the po possibility for free Artos or for Threadex to get uh, the full awareness of what each thread in your uh, Artos based system is doing, which you don't get by default with only a GDB based debug solution. Okay. And here you can list and have a look at all the tasks, queues, semaphores, and other Artos um, kernel objects. Okay. So it helps you to troubleshoot what's going on in your Artos based application. So this is kind of an avant premiere, and you guys are kind of brought this to Embedded World this week because why? You you want feedback from people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not here to promote. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm honestly here to collect feedback. Right. Yeah. Uh, talking to all the developers that we have the opportunity to do in a very fast way and collect all the thoughts yeah. and and inputs is reactions so useful. and feedback and yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and that's kind of how you and the team know right what you're you're going in the right direction basically in terms of development and so on yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay very good so we're gonna we're gonna wrap up soon but if there was just one last feature that you think is really cool that you guys are developing what would it be I think you were mentioning about automation right. uh, I think one thing that is coming for free uh, with this architecture redesign when we're splitting the tools into certain aspects is that since the CLI tools now are a bit split out, we can uh, pave the way towards automation, towards CI, CD pipelines. Okay. And that's more and more relevant in the embedded industry as well. Okay. Fabulous. Yeah. Yep. So I'm sure lots more features as well to discover. So mm. come and visit Matthias on the ST Microelectronics stand and yes, ask him, please. yeah, ask him all your questions. And yeah, keep your eyes out for the next release, which is coming very soon. Have a great day, folks.